fun event to kick off the weekend. We have just that for you. Uh, Charlotte's first commercial kitchen has teamed up with Matthews Parks and Recreation to bring you a taste of Charlotte mixed with the sounds of the city. And NBC Charlotte's Rachel Roller joins us live now from Stumptown Park, where this fun is already underway there, Rachel. That's exactly right. The demand for food trucks is really growing right here in North Carolina. And Carolina Commercial Kitchen chef Michael Rosen is really the mastermind behind this whole event here at Matthew's Food Truck Fridays, which is now in their fifth week and is proving to be a success. Is that right? It is a success, and it's growing every week. Okay, and now, you know, this is growing a lot, and a lot of areas are jumping on the bandwagon for food trucks. What made you bring it out here to Matthew's? Well, with the other rallies that are in town, we figured that Matthew's was a great spot. It needed this, the, 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 the residences, the people in Matthews were, were dying for something like this. So we put it here, we partnered with Parks and Rec, and it's going. And it's just working. All right, we're going to take a look at some food, because a lot of people, you know, are a little skeptical eating food that's coming out of a truck. Right. So put their minds at ease. This is not your typical fair food. This is quality cuisine, am I right? These are quality chefs that are doing what every restaurant in town would do. Exactly. It's not concession food by any means. It is quality things. Chefs coming out of Johnson & Wales and the Art Institute and Culinary Institute of America that are, instead of a restaurant, they have a mobile restaurant. A mobile restaurant. Here we have a Vietnamese sandwich, buffalo chicken and bacon taco. Is it safe to say there's something here for everyone? There is. I mean, there's a wide variety. Each truck has its own cuisine, its own style, its own, you know, chef style on, on, on the truck. So it really is, there's a lot of things to eat. All right, Michael, thank you so much. And coming up at 6, this is not just an event for your taste buds. Local artists are coming out and performing every week. We'll tell you how you can get involved. Reporting live in Matthews for NBC Charlotte, I'm Rachel Roller. All right, have fun out there, Rachel. Thanks. Still to come here. The local artists to listen up. Matthews Food Truck Fridays is in its fifth week of showcasing good eats and plenty of local music. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Roller actually is joining us live from Stumptown Park to kick off the weekend. And Rachel, it looks absolutely beautiful out there. The weather is perfect. And what's better than hearing a local band on a Friday night for free? I can't think of much, but that's exactly what's going on here at Stumptown Park in Matthews for the food truck rally. And not only is there a wide variety of food trucks out here, plenty for you to choose from. There's also Charlotte's own Killing Time is performing tonight. And we're going to be joined now by Leanne Moore with Parks and Recreation. Leanne, is there all different types of bands that are local here to the area that come out every week? There is. Uh, we try to look for a lot of the bands that people enjoy at the bars and restaurants in Charlotte. We try to rotate them every week. Some of our favorites will have come back once or twice, but we really enjoy looking for those bands that are here locally that a lot of people don't get to see, and we get to put them here on stage. That's awesome. But, Leanne, it also looks like it's a great family-friendly event. You know, I see a lot of kids out here, a lot of blankets, and setting up picnics with all their food. It's fantastic. We have a lot of folks that come out really early at 4 o'clock just to get their favorite spot. Um, we do welcome all ages, as we do for a lot of our things here in Matthews. And Food Truck Fridays is really kind of the beginning of great weekends during the summer here in Matthews. First Thursdays will kick off in May and right in the downtown core. And then we'll have Food Truck Fridays and then our summer concert movie series on Saturdays. So this is just part of a, a, a big happening here in the summer. Leanne, thank you. And we'll be sure to let everyone know on our website, WCNC.com. If you are a local artist and you want to be a part of this event, we'll let you know how to do that. And you can come out to Stumptown Park every Friday from 5 to 9 for the Food Truck Rally. Reporting live in Matthews for NBC Charlotte, I'm Rachel Roller. Coming up next, before you... Local law enforcement agencies have been busy raising money and gearing up to carry the Special Olympics torch in a coast-to-coast -coast relay next week. But they have one more fundraiser set up before the run. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Roller was in Rock Hill today for a special luncheon for those officers who did the serving. You're probably used to coming to Fast Cafe for the sweet tea and fresh rolls, but today community heroes are serving up for a good cause. Guys need anything else? From taking orders. And are you done with your drink? To busing tables. These officers are working for tips, trading in their patrol cars for the kitchen. Big plate. It's uh, fun for them to all of a sudden look up and see a badge and a gun right next to them to realize that we're not taking them to jail. We're here to give them sweet tea and some bread. And they understand it's not an easy job. We did it last year. I've already forgot about straws and I've already forgot about the plates. And I'm like, oh. I Despite their mistakes, do good. Okay. All right. Their hard work has not gone unnoticed. Urgency. He has a really good sense of urgency. 
I'll hire them. Last year, they raised nearly $4,200 for the Special Olympics at this event alone. Now, it's nice to see that, you know, if you have money paying taxes in your town and stuff like that, they come back out and do this. And knowing that none of the overhead from any of the money raised goes to the police department, it's just going straight to the special needs people. Christopher Gable knows the importance of these fundraisers, having a friend who competed in the Special Olympics. It taught me a lot about being open-minded to other people and things of that nature. <laughs> Donations like his continue to allow kids to compete without a cost. It's just a thrill, and we know when we get to, uh, it gets to put a smile on their face. And if this is the type of event that interests you, you can join these guys at Krispy Kreme next month. Well, they'll also be doing a donut eating contest that you won't want to miss. For NBC Charlotte, I'm Rachel Roller.